right, well, the markets are on hold ahead of Friday's jobs report and next month's Fed meeting. Here now is Jeremy Raccio of UBS Asset Management. So, Jeremy, we're at record highs in the S&P 500. How would you characterize how investors are feeling right now? Scott, good morning. It's great to be here. Um, I think they're feeling pretty bullish. I mean, it's for sure what we're seeing in the markets, right? But, you know, anytime we're at a record high, it always, you know, the, the sound of a bear kind of comes into play. Yeah, I think, well, we just got the, the numbers, the, the PCE numbers just came out, and I think that they were in line. But that's good because they're showing that the consumer is growing. Obviously, for the U.S. markets, uh, strong consumer growth is very important. And in, in Friday's numbers and the revised GDP numbers, which went up, they weren't great, but they're still good. But in some of the underlying numbers there, we saw the consumer spending revised up there as well from 0.3 to 0.6. So I think that's good as well. So more positive signs from the consumer. And all this data kind of puts the Fed on track to raise interest rates in June. And obviously, we're also watching Friday's jobs report, assuming there are no surprises in Friday's jobs report, which there were a year ago in the May jobs report. I mean, the Fed should be on track for June. It certainly seems that way. Yeah, I think June and my personal belief is June, then probably a pause in September, and then we probably again in, in December. But the key part of this June meeting is not necessarily interest rates, but the, the talk about the balance sheet, right? Because the Fed has to be very careful to avoid disturbing markets when it starts to unwind its $4.5 trillion balance sheet. Yeah, I think they're just starting to start communicate about what they're going to do there. And I think they'll hopefully give us a bit more guidance with how they're going to, do, how they're going to manage that. But I think when they start, it's going to be baby steps as far as the unwind. And with, with earnings season over, though, and it was a strong one, I mean, what are the drivers of the market? Is the Fed back in the driver's seat? Because we know earnings, the strong earnings kind of uh, made up for the fact that the Trump policy, the market-friendly policy, was stalled. Yeah, well, I think, I think the first really good thing about earnings was it was strong and it beat. And it's really allowed earnings to catch up to valuations, which we saw running ahead of earnings probably for the, the past few quarters. So any sort of catch up there I think was a good thing. Um, I think some of the drivers, I think you might see that shifting a bit more to the, uh, the corporate side. I think we've seen uh, M&A in the first quarter was strong. Uh, the dollar uh, value of deals was up 9% from the first quarter of last year. And in some of the survey data, it seems like uh, we're getting expectations for a pickup in CapEx and R&D. So maybe some of the uh, the leadership or what's driving some of this maybe is coming from the corporate side. All right, well, we'll certainly watch how it all plays out. Jeremy Raccio from UBS Asset Management, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Scott. Great to be here. All right, I'm Scott Gam, and you're watching The Street.